Hello, this is Dr. Sankar Kausik. I'm the director of Chesapeake Urology's BPH program, and I'm here to talk to you about Urolift, which is an exciting new treatment for benign prostatic hyperplasia. What you need to know prior to minimally invasive procedures. So let's start with the basics. What is BPH? BPH, or benign prostatic hyperplasia, is a term that describes the non-cancerous growth of the prostate that can result in blockage of the urinary tract and results in changes in urinary symptoms, such as more frequent urination, a sudden urge to urinate, slowness of the urinary stream, or incomplete bladder emptying. What is minimally invasive therapy for BPH? Minimally invasive therapies are procedures done through telescopes or catheters that either vaporize tissue or scrape tissue out to create a larger passage for urine flow. Resume delivers radiofrequency generated thermal therapy in the form of water vapor directly to the extraprostatic tissue, causing it to shrink. Urolift, which is another exciting therapy, uses tiny implants to hold the prostate lobes apart like open curtains on a window to relieve compression on the urethra. Photoselective vaporization of the prostate, also known as green light laser, uses a laser fiber to vaporize tissue. Transurethral resection of the prostate, or TURP, uses an instrument which scrapes the tissue out to widen the channel. Transurethral microwave therapy, or TUMT, uses a catheter to heat the prostate, causing it to shrink over time. What are the indications for a minimally invasive procedure? These can include urinary symptoms that are not adequately controlled with medication, or as an alternative to use for long-term medication, urinary retention or inability to urinate or empty the bladder, recurrent urinary tract infections related to an enlarged prostate, or recurrent blood in the urine related to an enlarged prostate. So what is a Urolift? The Urolift system is a revolutionary treatment for BPH. This is a minimally invasive approach that lifts or holds the enlarged prostatic tissue out of the way so it no longer blocks the urethra. Unlike other therapies, there is no cutting, heating, or removal of prostatic tissue. This is a straightforward procedure that is performed by a urologist. The urologist places tiny implants to hold the prostate lobes apart, like open curtains on a window, to relieve compression on the urethra. This allows urine to flow normally again. The Urolift system treatment can be done in the physician's office under local anesthesia. Typically, patients return home the same day without a catheter. And on the right side of the slide, you actually see the device and the implantation of the Urolift system. Urolift recovery. After the treatment, most patients go home the same day, usually without a catheter. There is minimal downtime post-treatment, and many patients experience symptom relief in as early as two weeks. Patients may experience some urinary discomfort during the recovery period. The most common side effects may include light blood in the urine, some pain or discomfort when urinating, increased urge to urinate, and discomfort in the pelvis that typically resolves within two to four weeks after the procedure. Your doctor will discuss with you how quickly you can return to your normal physical activities. Urolift risks. Most of the side effects of Urolift may last for a short period of time and are self-limited and typically resolve in two to four weeks. Potential risks of any cystoscopic or prostate procedure can include infection, bleeding, scar tissue, potential sexual side effects with reduction in ejaculatory volume, or a failure to improve the urinary symptoms. If temporary urinary retention occurs, a catheter may need to be placed. Pre-procedure information. Because the procedure may be done under anesthesia, you may need to fast starting the night before the procedure. Certain medications, such as blood thinners, may need to be held several days before the procedure. A preoperative exam, including blood work and an EKG 
is usually required and will need to be done by your primary care physician. You will need a ride home from the procedure and a responsible adult available for the first night after the procedure. Your doctor will tell you if you will require anesthesia or whether this can be done under local anesthesia. The procedure may be performed in the Chesapeake Urology Summit Ambulatory Surgery Center or in a Chesapeake Urology office. These are usually either adjacent to your urologist's office or in close proximity. These centers are specifically for outpatient procedures. Some patients may need their procedure performed in a hospital, usually related to medical conditions. What does the procedure entail? The patient is brought into the procedure room and placed on the table. You will be placed comfortably in the lithotomy position. A local anesthetic will be administered into the urethra or urinary channel. If you are receiving anesthesia, it will be administered by a board-certified anesthesiologist. Once the anesthetic has been placed, a telescope will be passed gently into the urethra and into the area of the prostate. Several Urolift implants will be placed with a special delivery device to hold the tissue back to keep the urethra open. And again, as demonstrated on the picture to the right, you can see the device being placed into the urethra in the level of the prostate and the implants being delivered to open the urethra. Urolift risks and benefits as compared to other treatments. The highlight of the Urolift treatment is that it provides significant improvements without significant downsides. Compared with other therapies for BPH, such as medications or laser TURP, which may cause more side effects. What can you expect after the procedure? A catheter may be placed for one to two days after the procedure if you are unable to urinate to prevent immediate postoperative swelling. You may notice blood in your urine for up to six weeks following the procedure. But if there is worsening bleeding, clots, or difficulty with urination, you need to contact us. Irritating urinary symptoms, such as a constant need to urinate, intermittent burning, or more frequent voiding can occur and last for several weeks to months, depending on the healing process and size of the prostate. Discharge medications. You will usually receive a prescription for an antibiotic for one to two days, along with medications to help with burning or pain. You may also need a stool softener. Things to let the doctor know about. If in the recovery period you experience a fever greater than 101.5 degrees, chills, nausea or vomiting, severe pain, inability to urinate, passage of significant blood in the urine or clots causing lightheadedness or dizziness, you should contact your doctor's office right away. Pre-authorization process. The pre-authorization process is essential. We will communicate with your insurance to determine your coverage and any co-payments or deductibles that you may owe. We will provide you with an estimate of any charges that you may incur. All charges are due prior to the procedure. However, payment plans can be arranged if needed. How do I get scheduled? A surgical scheduler will give you a date for your procedure. If you are having anesthesia, you will need medical clearance with your primary care physician or internist, including a history and physical exam. Additional testing may include blood work, an EKG, and a chest x-ray. You will receive a letter with all of this information, as well as where and when to report. Is there special preparation for surgery? If you are receiving anesthesia, you should not eat or drink after midnight. Our preoperative nurse will call you and discuss medications to take in the morning prior to surgery. If you are taking a blood thinner, please let your surgeon know as special precautions may need to be taken. Never stop these medications without a discussion with your primary care physician. These medications include aspirin or Plavix, Coumadin, Xarelto, Eliquis, or Prodaxa. Arrive early 
We usually expect you at least one hour prior to your scheduled surgery. If you are getting anesthesia, make sure you have a ride home. That person must come with you to check in and stay the entire time of the procedure. Finally, we hope that your procedure goes well and that you have a speedy recovery. We appreciate your feedback regarding your procedure as we are always trying to improve the care that we provide our patients. Should you have any questions regarding your procedure or recovery, please contact your Chesapeake Urology Physician's Office at 877-422-8237.